welcome if you're just joining us this is good morning kenya it is entertainment thursday happening right here and we are glad you are with us my name is jane one boy on social media you can find me as uh, my handle rather is at jane one boy facebook twitter instagram and of course our official station handle ever remains at kbc television and of course the hashtag for the program is hashtag good morning kenya sms line up and running 20154 and we'd love to know who uh, who you are and where you are watching us from for that matter so do engage with us you can also get onto twitter and uh, be part of the caption segment we're going to be sampling your captions and uh stories for that matter as we proceed on with the show but for now we want to get started with the first interview and this is all about border border safety you know uh motorbikes are truth be told the quickest and easiest means of transport, especially when you're in a fix, when you need to get to work in time, when you need to get to a meeting, when you need to go to, uh, to a place uh, in, with a short amount of time at your uh, disposal and you have to be there and there's traffic and you need to maneuver and, you know, matatus, you know, they can be a problem. So border borders are quite easily the easiest option for us to use but there's also the question of safety we have had so many accidents as a result of a border border so many people and in most cases not many survive such accidents but what can we do to help prevent this scenario to help bring down the numbers we have with us one young gentleman who is at the forefront just trying to help bring solutions to a problem that has remained to be a big problem and with us in studio we have edwin barasa karibusana this morning. Thank you. So, Ndwile Kamreya Kopale, you would just like to say hi to our viewers. Tell us a bit about how guys can find you. Okay, I'm Edwin Baraza. Um, I've always had passion about innovation being a solution to problems. And if you want to find me, find me on Facebook at Baraza e Baraza. Mm -hmm. And our contacts, we will leave them back. We will... Uh, issue the contact that you can call us so that you can get in touch at a later stage. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk a bit about, you know, the journey to even you came up with a solution in regards to uh, border border safety and you involved to me a technology in one way or the other. But before we get to that, yeah. Tuangali, uh, the backstory that led to you getting to this point, Ninini or at what space were you in that actually prompted you to try and think of a solution in Kikuja to Kutumia border border? Uh, <clears throat> basically, the main reason as to why I came towards this, uh, finding this solution is I lost a very close friend on a, moto a motorcycle accident mm -hmm. and uh, it was a very painful experience. Yes. And uh, I really sat down and I thought about the main, what I can do or what I could have done and therefore I looked at some of the statistics from NTSA, from WHO, and even other statistics companies. You realize that motorcycles are gaining ground very fast mm. in Kenya, in East Africa, actually. Uh, because motorcycles, one, they are very fast. They are flexible. Mm, they're very efficient. Actually, hey. yeah, <coughs> very much. But you realize that... <coughs> It's coming with its own fair share of fatalities. Mm. Because one first thing, wh what you need to consider is a motorcycle, for you to ride a motorcycle, it relies on your body balance. Yes. That's why it's very fatal. Just a slight interference, your ears, your you are gone. Out. You can imagine if you are on a highway and something happens to you, you lose your balance. Mm. What, whatever happens will be a story. Mm. Now, if you look at these statistics, for example, last year we lost almost 1,472 motorcycle riders on the roads. Those are the only registered statistics. We don't mm. know about those, what, those that happen on the, back, uh, on the background. So I looked at this and realized they are the leading, if you compare with the other forms of accidents, mm. motorcycles are really leading in deaths. Mm. But the funny part is motorcycles are also contributing 14.8% of the private sector employment. Now, if you look at those statistics, most of our friends are going into this business, mm. but you never know that that person you're seeing on a, on a motorcycle might be the next tenant to a mortuary. The next victim, yeah. So what, uh, what, what came into my mind was, what can I do? And then I looked at a motorcycle, and then you realize that it has only one headlight. Mm. 
in front and behind and it's so narrow such that for a vehicle owner to judge even from a distance or in the in darkness it's yeah. difficult for you to know if this person is it a motorcycle or, or if he's indicating a yeah, yeah or if it's uh, <laughs> so they are normally dis difficult to judge their movements and therefore they are normally the victims of misjudgment and poor communication due to visibility mm. so i thought of if these lights were not just located at the lower positions of this motorcycle what mm. if we spread this lighting and indicators to the shoulders and the the back and the front part of the of the rider, of the rider. Mm. so that if the rider is uh, because you realize that uh, most of the accidents are are because the motorcycle is low and someone on a track mm. cannot see a motorcycle coming from behind mm. and the indication is not very much clear yeah. so i thought of making this lighting more visible and just hold it there. We'll be coming to the solutions. But yeah. before we even get to that, you know, when we talk about border borders, you know, you've just mentioned visibility as being yeah. one of the challenges. Yeah. But also let's talk about our habits on the road, even from the rider's side of view of the divide. Mm. You know, when you're so many times, and you know, if you are a driver, you can attest to that when, you, when you're driving, somebody just... Peter Mbeleako just swaps yes. in front of yes. you without even indicating and that breeds so much carelessness on the road and yeah. it is also <coughs> another cause that leads to you know these accidents yeah. when it comes to carelessness and also uh, for ri drivers and riders on the road what would you have to say to in regards to this um, and the lack of just using indicators okay in line with uh, this innovation mm. The, these habits are just okay it's one of the habits that are really disturbing because uh, if you don't indicate what are you trying to imply this is just negligence and ignorance yeah so this means we have with other means of trying to reduce these accidents we should also bring in sensitization which is actually being brought up by mm. the ntsa and other organization we sensitize these young men who are with motorbikes but look at this motorcycle rider for someone to pick a motorcycle and start a motorcycle business, business yeah. you realize that this person from background, either this person have okay, they have tried other forms of investments and they have reached like Employment, I yeah. cannot get and let me just run with the motor. So these are person psychologically who is half frustrated. Mm. Are you seeing that? Now, if you are going to push a lot of laws into this person, for example, the laws that are there, like mm -hmm. you are supposed to have only one passenger, or you are, there are a lot of laws on the road right yeah. now. Now, if, uh, for example, right now they reduced the number of passengers that you are supposed to carry to only one. Mm. That's the rule. But now, if you reduce the number of passengers to one and I'm used to carrying two, what am I going to do? I will rush to catch up with what the I used to one. get. Yeah. yeah. So as much as the ignorance part of these people is involved here in accidents, there are some other issues we need to register. We sensitize them, mm -hmm. and therefore we also create a good working environment for them. Mm. We educate them. Yeah. Yeah. And also we ensure they have licenses. Yes. Most of them don't have actually. And that's the other problem. Yes. Some of them, just because you know how to ride a bike, you just yeah, buy a bike yeah, and you start carrying yeah. people around and you haven't gone for training of yes. any form, yes. you do not know even how to handle a bike professionally sure, sure. for that matter, especially when you are carrying a passenger. Mm. In regards to that, what do you feel needs to be done to just try and streamline the situation and help bring down this number of accidents by make sh making sure everyone who's on the road mm. is licensed to be there uh, first of all okay look at a motorcycle yeah it is very flexible fast and it can access almost narrow areas it's literally an extension of your body so what this means even i know the police are having a very hard time dealing with them because the moment you signal them to stand they disappear within the thin air within a short time you will not get them yeah and they know that they have that advantage so that means as much as we know they are very simple okay it's very difficult to capture them mm. let us at least make them be visible yeah. i feel as much as we might try to use the police use all means but these people, as they move, they know they cannot catch me. I mm. will disappear and go. In now fact, they will, they will use the corridors <laughs> that your vehicle will not use. Yes. So 
we want to just tell them as much as you are running for your life you are running for you are and you want to earn something at least make yourself visible make yourself visible at least even if you are running very fast you are not changing you are okay you are changing just lines anyhow at least let the other vehicle users see you mm. so that let them at least adjust indicate yeah so because because if you look at the 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 leading rate of accident is caused by a motorcycle mm. involving a vehicle mm. not a motorcycle and a motorcycle alone yes the leading right now is a motorcycle involving a vehicle. a vehicle why poor visibility hence poor communication on the leading. road yeah all right now let's come to solutions you know because we can't just dwell on problems and we're yes. not offering a solution in mm. five and in this case you came up with a jacket yes tell us about the story behind this jacket in it kwanza uh, I call it an ERJ, electronic ERJ. reflector jacket. Electronic reflector jacket. Just allow jacket. me to wear it as I demonstrate. Yes. Yeah, an electronic reflector jacket has an electronic uh, electronic bypass of which it has a, a microchip mm -hmm. that uh, we have extended the functions of the indication to the jacket. The indications of on of, the motorbike yes, of the motorbike to the jacket. Okay. So with a simple USB connection, mm -hmm. if you indicate right, the right hand side of the motorcycle will blink. Will blink. Okay. If you indicate right, the mo the motorcycle indicators will indicate right. So as the jacket. Okay. The right hand side. The same. If you indicate left, the left hand side also indicates. So this means you are very much visible. Mm. Anyone can see you from far. And I've made them as bright as possible. Yes. Because of the purpose of reducing road accidents. And we'll, remember, we have a motorbike in studio on the other side of the studio. We'll be giving you a proper demonstration in not too long as to how it really works. Mm -hmm. uh, for those who are wondering, so worry not. We have that. Uh, we have thought of that. Now, looking at this jacket, you know, it requires um, a USB slot to be plugged in. Yes. And how do you go about making sure that your picky picky has that? Is it part of what you ca you part of the package when it comes to the installation process? Um, there is a small mod this a, a simple modification that is accompanied with the jacket because mm -hmm. the manufacturer of these uh, motorcycles didn't have this in mind. It's just yeah. an innovation. So there is a there is a microchip inside mm -hmm. that ensures that the voltage reaches the jacket mm. and the functions work in line with the with the motorbike. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, now let's talk about the journey towards even uh, j the journey in making this jacket a reality. Yes. I'm sure it wasn't just a straight path. It's there yes. was ups and downs along the journey. And maybe you could tell us a bit about that. When you were coming up with this idea in terms of uh, looking for potential investors and sharing it, your idea with uh, people who you could, uh, partners for that matter, mm. how was that process like for you? Uh, first, there, there's normally several stages when it comes to thinking of a new idea that does not exist. Mm. First of all, you might think about doing something and the materials you need are not readily on the market because this thing does not exist. Mm. So first of all, you think about it. The you go try. Things. Yes, you write down, you try to imagine what am I going to use, what am I going to do. So there are several trials in which it requires a lot of funds because there are a lot of things you will do as they fail. You throw them aside, you get another, until you get the right thing that works. Mm. Another thing to get a motorcycle to test on because for someone to it give you... It requires modifications. Yes, because it requires a modification. And someone will be like, what are you trying to make? Is it somewhere? Have I seen it anywhere? So it's normally, it was not an easy Mm. Uh, an, an easy job to do. Yeah, it has its own fair of challenges. So it's about dedication of what you are looking for. Yeah, and the drive behind it. And therefore, if you look at it, like I need to achieve a solution to this problem. Mm. Actually, East Africa people are dying. Tanzania is the leading right now. So in Kenya, I feel like we can do something. So I came, I sat down, I looked at the jacket, and I said, No, most people don't like full jackets. Yes. Especially you ladies, you you not like to put these heavy jackets on most of your yeah, It's tops. a ribu sleigh. Yeah. yeah. We got a so, sleigh. <laughs> so I looked for a simple way. Actually, you can wear this one. Yeah. It's just simple. You put it on your back with simple connection and locking. A clip in, yeah. Yes. Then it means you are connected. Mm -hmm. And remember, the rider has his own and the 
the, passenger. the, the passenger you also have your own which you plug to the drive to the riders so all of you are connected visible and indications are open but you said for the ride uh, for the passenger you connect yours through yes. the rider that means there's a connection on the yeah, rider's jacket is, yeah maybe you could show this uh, show yeah. that to for us. example this one oh yes is the I can riders. see it now for the rider the 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 passenger will plug into me, mm -hmm. then we will be all connected. So all if right. I indicate right, mm -hmm. the passenger and the rider and the motorbike, all of you are showing, you know, we are moving to the right. Yes. All right. Love it. And I actually want to just quickly uh, switch on over to the other side of studio. We actually have a rider and a motorbike in studio on the other side of studio. And from, uh, I'm sure we're going to get that uh, feed right now. Mm -hmm. You can just be able to see what we talk about when you say when you plug it in, uh, the right side blinks if you are indicating that he's indicating the left in studio. Uh, mm -hmm. It's probably on the right side of your screen. Uh, so there's the left indicator and it's blinking on his left. Maybe you can switch over to the, uh, the right side indicator to an A can indicate the other side. There we go. It is so bright. Mm. It's so bright. It reminds me of Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that way you are able to be seen from yeah. wherever you are. Mm. When you want to turn, when you want to go the other way, you're able to be seen. Yeah. Now, have you thought of maybe, you know, at night, visibility is also a problem. Is there a way they can blink at the same time? All of them? Yes. That is a hazard application. Yeah. It is very much possible. It is possible? Yes. Uh, yeah, in fact, at night, they are very much clear that you can see them right now. All at right. Yeah. At night, they are very much clear. In fact, the purpose was basically for night. For Although night, during yeah. the day, it can work. But the, at night, you can be, you need to be, be seen, seen as far as even one kilometer away. As far as a kilometer away. All right. And we're actually going to be going to the other side of the street. Mm. Just see how you plug it in into the, on the motorcycle because, mm -hmm. you know, someone to understand how that goes about. Now, when it comes to even um, involving the motorcyclists out there, how has that interaction been trying to penetrate the market mm. and convince them to take on this um, tech? Because, you know, it means them putting their bikes at or nini in your hands yes. for the adjustment and make sure it still operates properly and adapts this uh, jacket. Um, actually, from uh, the views of those who have seen it, they really need to have one. Most of them, they have been very Have they positive. been receptive to yes, it? Yes, very positive. Yeah. Yeah, actually, they, are, they really want some, but we have not gone into final launching of selling it to them because we need first of all to get in touch with the relevant bodies involved in transport yeah. we are actually in line with that we are in talks we want to ensure that everything is in order mm. so that uh, we don't enter into a business that the relevant stakeholders are have not advised us further so it's not just a jacket yes. but you know most people like advertising through motorcycle they have given them uh, these reflectors with mm, some writings on them we also we have a section for advertisement <laughs> so <laughs> if uh, if you want to brand for example your this, this, this black space uh -huh. we can brand here yeah, your brand name if you are kbc <laughs> we can write kbc there so uh -huh. when the lighting is on you can imagine if it's very if it's that visible yeah. i will attract the who might be your, your potential, potential clients. clients. <laughs> yes. So we write your name here. We brand if it's a company, we brand for you. So that Still means serving we the are purpose looking, it's supposed yes, to serve and yeah, you know, earning yeah. you an extra coin. Because as it indicates, it captures you, you read the brand. So in marketing, we have not been left behind. We have taken care of that. So that means for our potential partners or investors, mm -hmm. your brand will be here. You'll be seen with the latest technology on the ground. Now, when you were sourcing for all these gadgets, you know, you, they're all technologically based so that yeah. the additions that you brought onto the reflectors, was it easy sourcing for the resources locally for that matter? Did you find all that you needed to put together this uh, electronic reflective jacket, reflector jacket? Yes. Was it easy just getting the resources for it? It wasn't. Did you manage to get the resources locally? Um, actually, I had to improvise. Mm -hmm. The, m most of the materials that I'm using, you might realize that I have just improvised uh, from other materials to make what I want. But yeah. given an opportunity whereby I have the required uh, materials, mm -hmm. I can come up with a more 
sophisticated and the best ma uh, the best jacket so because you might realize some might want a different design uh, to a jacket for... kidogo imefunika mic okay eh, eh, eh. okay so you might realize that uh, some might want uh, a different design for example if we went to a motorcycle company they want a brand okay this type of uh, a jacket with it's lights better, but yeah. they might have their own shape and design mm. so that means this not the final shape and design we can always customize it depending on the customer's preference and instructions all right yes. so i want us to give our viewers a practical example of how you plug this in mm -hmm. and i'm actually going to wear it to see the connection between the driver and mm -hmm. the ride the rider then do the rider and the passenger as well to just see how that connection does go about mm -hmm. so we quickly want to switch over to the other side of studio uh, remember we have a motorbike ukoivi so we're going to go there to give you a practical example of what we are talking about when it comes to this all right so maybe mm -hmm. mr director is a fair picture you picky picky as we head head over there all right so All right, so we want to give you an example of what, um, the, how the connection goes about. So, um, Barasa, take us through the now from the plugging in to how um, even the rider needs to use it. Uh, for example, this one is for the, the rider. rider. Uh -huh. Now, if I were to wear it as the rider, um, if I... Uh, if I Let put it, sorry, thank <laughs> you. If I put it on like that, okay. And then I take this uh, as my. Okay, there's a connection there's here. There's a connection at the back. A yes. Connection here. So I just plug in my. Okay, assuming he's my passenger now. Okay. I just plug him in, and then we are all connected. Indicating on the yes. same side. So the indicators are so indicate right. There, there we like go. There they left uh -huh. so you realize that all of us are visible yes and it is very much compatible with all types of motorcycles uh -huh. because uh, the voltage required is enough to be powered by any motorcycle and okay. you realize that it is just easy to disconnect uh, it's just a usb in case Connection, of yeah. someone uh, you slide it just gets out on its own mm. and so you, you don't have free. to worry at nah. kianguka una no, buto no. na kurumaliyo kwa barabara tu kwa hapo aha all right love it mimi ni sina adabu ni naweza panda juu ya hii pikipiki so apologize for that in advance but you can uh, i can give you this but yeah naweza panda <laughs> So this doesn't ride, require ride. much in terms of the riders uh, uh, interfering with the operations of the bike. No, it has no effect to the motorcycle electrical system. Mm -hmm. It is safe and uh, it is protected. So I told you it has a microchip that protects the voltage. Yeah. Yeah, there is no overpowering. Kuna cut out in case no inani yes, 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 yeah. yeah. it in goes a off. Nyonga. Yeah, in case there is high voltage, yeah. it has an automatic switch. It just goes off. It puts you outside the voltage of the motorcycle in case it has a fault. So you as a rider or as a passenger, you don't have to worry about electrocution? No, no, no. There's no electrocution here. Yeah, there's no electrocution. It's very much safe uh -huh. and simple to use. All right. For information, it's very, it's no, there's no maintenance required. Mm -hmm. There's no charging. Yes, because most people are worried, uh, oh, do I have to charge the jacket every time I wake up in the morning? There's no charge. Just plug in when mm -hmm. you enter and then you, when you ignite you are connected and you are part of the motorcycle. Now, the maintenance process of this jacket, you know, uh, for example, you, God forbid, you get involved in an accident and you interfere with the lighting. Yes. And, you know, say one side stops working. Okay. How do I go about in terms of getting a replacement? You know, when, once you have settled down in terms of how you're going to go into market, the maintenance of these jackets. Mm. Maybe as we go public or uh, we go into the market, we might have people in place mm -hmm. whereby in case there is a, 
a short term mm. on the jacket, they are replaceable, they can be repaired. So that are solutions for them when you can be able to Yeah, yeah, or we can give you some instructions yes. on how to approach on your own. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. yeah. So, so I, I think this is such a fantastic idea in terms of road safety and using technology, something so simple that can go a long way, especially when it comes to visibility still remains to be the biggest problem, especially early mornings, late nights, and when it's pouring, you know. And I think it's something that even our riders out there can attest to it, you know. Visibility still remains to be one of the problems, but also indicating, kutumia indicating, nakunga ni kamzigo kwa watu wengi, yeah? So with this, I think it will go a long way in just trying helping the driver know nataka kwenda huku, nataka kwenda huku. And that in turn will save us so much, so many accidents that we get to see day in, day out involving cars and motorcycles. So I think that uh, we want to bring the discussion to a close. But before we do that, you know, just your word of advice to passengers when it comes to, you know, once you have launched this product, you know, as a passenger, you have also your responsibility to your safety. You need to demand for some things, yeah, yeah, When yeah. it comes to just asking for a reflector yes. from the passenger side. Yes. Actually, if we were to go into market with this electronic reflector jacket, the riders they might not take, they might not care about yeah. your they might not care about your safety because most of them they want that fifty bob from you, mm -hmm. one hundred, eight bob. So they will hurry. So the best thing, the, a motorcycle, in fact, is the second fatal after an airplane, very deadly. So first of all, ask for a reflector jacket. If it's not even an electronic reflector jacket, at least a something to, yeah. to show that you are visible. Mm. That, uh, that will be the first step. Secondly, ensure that the motorcycle you are using, talk to the driver. Most of, the, most of you just jump on the motorcycle, you are like, let's go, you have five minutes. At least talk to them, they are human beings. Most of them, as I said earlier, most of them are half frustrated. Mm. They decided this business because they have no otherwise and they are looking for a way through by all means. So at least get in touch with these people, talk to them, know their names, talk, make a, uh, do some short stories as you travel, at least you might reach safely because this person knows you care about them yes and it's so hard to be on a motorbike and not pick a story it's me all my do the guys looking young on a one or two kisses a story number skill what that is yeah yeah. So you cannot afford to go, or you can't ride a motorbike and not have stories, so, you know. And it goes a long way, by the way, you know, just saying hi, how you doing, excuse us, stories I'm too, it goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Now, um, for motorcyclists, uh, for that matter, who um, just... Your word of advice to them on the importance of just getting themselves one of these jackets once you are able to distribute them. Uh. This jacket, as we said, it improves visibility. Mm. At least even, even if you might be in a mistake, at least the, mo the other vehicle users might see you and avoid your situation. Yeah. Either they might slow down or they might give you a way to move uh, out. But first of all, start with yourself. Remember who you are. You are carrying the mantle at your home. You are the breadwinner. You are carrying someone's life who matters a lot. It might be a parent, be a brother. So remember all the time as you move on the road, just keep yourself safe. Yeah. Remember the helmet. This is not the solution actually. The reflector jacket will not prevent It's part you. of it's just part preventive of, measures. Yes, but it does not mean we have. Uh, it has taken pa uh, it has taken out the helmet and the yeah. other safety gears that you are required. It's just an enhancement of what you have already had before. All right. Helmet ni muhimu sana. Tukama tukangi kuvai na ribu juere. It is all good. We have to just, you got to be safe, man. Be safe by whatever means are possible. And just as you said, know who you are. And remember that in Mufasa's voice. Know who you are. Remember who you are. Well, that brings to an end this discussion all about safety on the roads, border border safety and having tech solutions for that matter. So you don't have to worry about being electrocuted. Cooking yes, up here. They are waterproof. They are waterproof. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you imagine a steamer? Why? That's a <laughs> deadly combination. So you don't have to worry about your safety when it comes to how you, you uh, 
the usage of this jacket. Yeah, just as I said, you can cut out in case voltage goes on too high. It can be able to just protect you. I think it's a smart jacket mm -hmm. <laughs> for that matter. So thank you so much, Edwin, for being with us. William Mudama Kisilu. William Mudama Kisilu. Yeah. How what do you think about this jacket? It's good. It's good? Yeah. Unadhani it's a idea in terms of reducing accidents. Iko sawa kabisa. Kabisa. Yeah. Unazambia other riders waendelee kuitumia? Eh, yeah, nitawa tutawapelekea. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah, basi. Kisilu amesema hapo. <laughs> All right, so we want to bring a good morning Kenya to a close, but also Barasa your parting shot, Barasa. Your parting shot to the public, riders and our viewers as a whole. Mm -hmm. As I said, I'm Baraza on Facebook. Help get me on Baraza e Baraza. Yeah. On uh, phone number, you can call us on 0722-453032. Get in touch with us if you want to join us into this business. We save our lives. We save the lives of our brothers, okay. sisters. That will be very much okay. Thank All you right. very much. God bless. All right, there we go. That's that for this interview. We remember we have uh, so much more coming up on Entertainment Thursday. We still have the caption segment going on, uh, building up on Twitter. We're going to be sharing with you some of those tweets that we have received so far. Kalas Bonketu, a.k.a. Traffic Marshal A1, a.k.a. D, a.k.a. Miss D, a.k.a. all those two sweet names. She will be sampling them for us as we proceed on with the show. So keep talking to us. Hashtag Good Morning Kenya on Twitter. Our SMS line is 20154. Do leave a name and location. And of course, tag us on those comments. At General Boy is my handle. At Ramaguko and at Doreen Arange. Those are my colleagues' handles. So do stay with us. Good Morning Kenya does continue. It is Entertainment Thursday. <laughs>